Hi guys, welcome back. So my name is Shelby if you're new and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a how to stop smile line creasing in your foundation. So I've always struggled with this with every single type of foundation I try no matter what price point it's at. It always sinks into my smile lines right here. So I'm pretty much doing a little test on this new um, technique I guess you can call um, to stop smile lines from poking through. So you want to see that then let's just get right into it. Okay so the first step that you always want to do to prevent these lines from creasing in your foundation is prepping your skin. So I always like to spray my face just to give it a little bit more hydration and I just feel like it preps the skin for makeup application. So I'm going to use the Mario Badescu facial spray in aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I'm almost out. I'm so sad, but I definitely have to pick up another one of these because this is one of my holy grails. You can use any facial spray that you have in your collection, the Smashbox Primer Water, this one. This is like a really cheap alternative to that one. Um, I know there's tons of makeup setting sprays and prepping sprays out in the market, so this is just what I'm going to use today. I'm going to let that dry down a little bit, and then I'm going to apply primer on top of it. So for my primer, I'm going to do two different types of primers. So for all over my face, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This is just a really pore-filling, smoothing-out primer, and I feel like any skin type can use this primer. You can use any type of primer that you have in your collection, but I would try to go towards more of a pore-filling, smoothing one. I like to coat my entire face just so it's really even and all the makeup applies evenly and it doesn't look different in different areas you know what I mean so I'm gonna first start by smoothing it all over I also bring it down my neck just for the heck of it and then I'm just gonna do one side with this trick and then one side I'm just gonna leave normal just apply foundation over the primer and then see if this really really makes a difference so the side that I'm gonna do like the little trick on is gonna be my left side and then the right side is just gonna be completely normal so on the left side I'm gonna apply the benefit professional primer this is just a really pore filling smoothing out primer that works really really good it's one of my holy grails I stand by it so I'm gonna take the tiniest amount of this on my finger and just dab it over that crease or line or like my smile line so you can even smile to see where exactly it is and then you just really want to fill that line in with this primer and then on top of my left side where I applied that primer I'm going to be applying the cover FX translucent um, setting powder this is one of my favorite translucent powders ever just because it's so finely milled it's really light on the face and it's just not heavy at all and it gets the job done beautifully so I'm going to take a little bit in the cap actually and just take the tiniest amount on my brush this is the Sigma E40. This is just like a blending brush for the face, but I'm just going to use it for this powder. And then we're going to set over that crease in that primer. We're not going to take too much of this just because it could cake up your foundation once you apply it on top. So you're just going to go in really light layers. Now you're just going to pretty much do your regular foundation routine. You're going to do your foundation, concealer, <clears throat> If you set your face, set your face normally. You just do everything normally after this. So I'm just going to do up to probably my foundation and concealer and set my face. And then from there, I'll probably cut it out just to make this video a little quicker. And then I'll show you the end product. And then I am going to do a wear test of this to see if this actually works because... I want to show you guys the real proof. For my foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline... Um, what is this called? Full Coverage... Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. I did a first impression on this one video back, so if you want to see how well it wears throughout a wear test, I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested. And then I'm going to use my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this out. Thank you. 
So foundation blended over that little area perfectly. It didn't cling to it. It didn't cause any like a dry patch. It didn't do anything. It was just normal. So that's a good thing. And then for my concealers, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the shade Light Neutral. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this. Right underneath my eyes. I'm like almost out of this. I actually got a brand new one of these, but I think my shade is like oh, way too light. Like I think I got like fair or something and it was literally white on me. And I was like, holy crap, I need to exchange this. So I'm just waiting to exchange that. But I definitely missed using the Tarte Shape Tape because there's no concealer that compares to it for me personally. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this Fit Me and just blend this over top of that. So it's more like my skin color because it's looking a little yellow, that shade was. And then I am going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender as well. Like, look at how nice that blends out. Oh, there's no concealer that compares to this one. Even when you mix it with different concealers, it works so well still. It's so impressive. I actually did order the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, so I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail. And I cannot wait to do a review on it. I'm so excited. I know there's probably so many reviews out on YouTube already of it, because, like, people on PR list. But how is that fair to people that aren't on PR list? Like, so depressing. I guess you just have to be a big channel to be on PR list, which sucks, because it takes a while to get there, but... So, okay. And then I am going to set my face with that Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder as well. And then I am going to bake right over those smile lines once again. Really pack it in there and really like press it in and press down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side because it wouldn't be fair. I just always do this. This is like a natural thing for me to do. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off of camera just to make it go by a little bit faster just because nothing else involves these smile lines. So this is just the completed look that I came up with today. Something easy, quick, and simple. So right now I have no smile lines at all. I actually will zoom in for you guys. So this is the side that I didn't do the little trick on. It's just like normal. So so right now I have no smile lines and then this is the side that I did the trick on and I also have no smile lines so far so good um usually I don't get smile lines for like another three to four hours so right now what time is it it is three o'clock exactly so I'm gonna check in a little later I have a few errands to run I think I'm gonna go to the gym so right now no smile lines at all so I'll see you guys in a little okay so I am back it is a officially 9:31, as you can see right there so it has been a while since I've checked in I just went to the gym had a nice workout I feel great and now I'm ready to take this makeup off and shower so um let's look at the smile lines so as you can see I do have smile lines right here they just are poking through like normally this is how it ends up at the end of the night every time I wear my foundation. So this is the side that I did not set at all. And then this is the side that I did. So I didn't touch up my face at all. Honestly, I just got home from the gym, I ate, and then I came down here to finish up the recording. So this is the side that I didn't set, and it looks so much better. There is a little indentation, but it's nothing compared to this side like let's be honest I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found this really helpful because it definitely helped me out um I just feel like it makes my makeup look a little bit better at the end of the day and makes it look not as nasty you know what I mean so yeah definitely subscribe to join my S squad and give this video a big thumbs up if this helped you out and I will catch you guys in my next video bye loves